spoke quite a bit yesterday didn't we about uh, about tone and why tone is different from pitch and the importance of tone and to make sure that your tone is appropriate for the message that you are verbalizing and we'll look at the amount of tone and emotion a little bit later on over the next few days but for now today let's examine a little bit more about the claim that the words you say and the tone in which they're said have to be congruent Think of the phrase, I'm happy. And you'd expect it to be said in a happy tone, bright, light, smiling, laughing. I'm happy. I'm happy. If it's said slow, in a flat, dull tone, it may not fit with the context. It may make you sound dull. I'm happy. Or bored, disinterested, fake, rude. I'm happy. I'm happy. Sarcastic. You could even sound borderline sociopath, unable to kind of read a situation or, or react to it appropriately to fit in. Now, there may be a good reason for a disconnect, especially if you're acting a part, and it could be used for comic effect, of course. I mean, the British comedian Jack D, who, who's known for his kind of deadpan humour, and you can imagine him with that kind of curled lip that he has when he says, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take another example. You may use an inappropriate upward inflection when you're talking like that. The tone contradicts the words and listeners will subconsciously have to work to make sense of the conflict. Oh, it's not a question, but it sounds like a question. Their mind is not on what you're saying and therefore you're not communicating. So, an incongruity can be confusing. So, talk in a tone that's appropriate to the message, which we'll look at over the next few days. Hope that makes sense. Any problems, questions, comments, get back to me. Best place on Twitter. Thank you. Tweeter Stuart, T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. From London, I am Tweeter Stuart. Bye.